Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be reviewing two of the Merit Signature Lip Lightweight Lipsticks in the shades Slip and Baby. Now, I picked these up in the Sephora sale in store a few days ago, so I've been testing them out all week. I'm going to give you my full description about these lipsticks. We'll do some arm swatches, some lip swatches, and I'll also compare these shades to some other lipsticks that I already have. If you enjoy this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, a subscribe to my channel, channel and now let's get into the review. I have been so excited to try these Merit lipsticks. I've been really interested in Merit as a whole and I've been wanting to try these lipsticks the most out of everything that they have. These hydrating lipsticks retail for $26. They are described as a sheer lipstick with a satin finish and the benefits of a lip balm without the heaviness of a traditional lipstick. Some of the highlighted ingredients are squalane and sunflower seed oil, which help to lock in moisture, papaya fruit extract to soothe the lips, and raspberry oil to moisturize and add a soft aroma. Now, I don't find that these lipsticks have any scent whatsoever, which I really like. I really prefer a lipstick with no scent. I really love the way that Merit designed the shape of this lipstick. So the bullet itself has a really nice slant on one side, and then even on the other side, it curves in a little bit to a point. So this provides a really precise application, especially when you are going around your Cupid's bow. The lipstick itself is rounded, so it just fits the contours of the lips perfectly. It is so easy and comfortable to apply. I also just love this packaging as a whole. I think it is so beautiful. All of the lipstick shades have the same color packaging. So the tube itself is a like warm nude brown and it has gold accents on the bottom. And also it says Merit in gold on the side and it has the Merit logo on the bottom. Now getting into the shade descriptions, Slip is described as a warm neutral. And I would describe this as a warm medium shade of brown. It's got like a caramel undertone to it, and you can see it's got a really pretty satin finish. It's just got a hint of shine. And next to it is the shade Baby, which is described as a neutral pink. And I'll get more in depth with this shade description later on when I apply this to my lips. But on me, this definitely looks more of a cool tone pink rather than neutral. But I do feel like it will depend on the shade of your lips naturally, what this looks like, whether it pulls more neutral or pulls more cool toned. But here are the two shades side by side. So now I'm going to apply the shade Slip. These lipsticks are lightweight and they do have a bit of a sheer quality to them. So you can swipe once for a sheer wash of color, or you can apply three or four swipes to build it up to more of a rich color. So I'm gonna start with one swipe. Okay, so this is one layer of the lipstick applied. I really like the way it looks with just one swipe because it lets a little bit of my natural lip color shine through. So I get a bit of that warm neutral, a little bit of that like hazelnut brown shade with a little bit of pink mixed in. And I feel like this is the perfect neutral everyday lip for me. It applied so easily. It felt very thin and a little bit balmy going on the lips, but not slippy. Like it still has that feeling of a lipstick but it is incredibly lightweight and it feels like I'm not wearing anything at all right now. So now I'm going to apply a few more swipes and build up the color so that you can see what it looks like as its most saturated shade. Thank you. 
So here is a slip built up to its full opacity. I would describe this as a very warm, rich brown, and it even has a slight yellow undertone to it. Like the satin finish on the lips almost imparts a little bit of a golden sheen. And I would say that it doesn't necessarily look glossy, but you can see a little bit of sheen on the lips, which just makes them look very hydrated and moisturized. It feels very comfortable. The lips don't stick together. They kind of just feel very, very soft and pillowy. I really love the way this lipstick applies. It feels great and it's really nice and lightweight, so it doesn't feel like much on the lips. And I personally really love this shade. This is the type of nude brown that I love to wear in the summer months, so I'm really enjoying the shade Slip. Now I also wanted to compare Slip to another lipstick that I have from the drugstore, which is incredibly similar. So I want to show you how the shade Slip compares to the Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick in the shade Brazilian Tan. So right now I'm wearing Merit on the top lip and I'm going to apply the Revlon lipstick on my bottom lip. Here they are both applied. I think that the shade is nearly identical. This warm shade of brown is really almost exactly the same. I don't know that I would notice a difference between the two. The only very slight difference is the finish. They both have that creamy satin finish, but I think that there's just a little bit more shine on the Revlon lipstick on my bottom lip. I notice a little bit more of a like pearly almost shimmery reflect whereas the Merit lipstick is just purely a like creamy satin finish but overall very similar. So if you already have Brazilian Tan from Revlon just know that the shade of the Merit lipstick is pretty much the same. The only difference is a super slight difference in the finish of the lipstick as well as the way it feels going on the lips. Merit is definitely a little bit more thin and lightweight whereas the Revlon just has a bit more creaminess and a little bit more um, weight to it on the lips than Merit. Now I'm going to apply Baby and I'm going to start with one swipe. Baby is described as a neutral pink, but on me, I think even with one swipe, it looks very cool toned. I feel like it, it really turns my lips more of a mauvey pink rather than a neutral pink. Um, so now I'm going to build this up and apply two more swipes. And just as with the shade Slip, I'm not wearing any lip liner and just going to show you what the lipstick looks like on its own. Here's Baby built up to its full opacity, and I think that those gray and mauve tones are coming through even more, and I feel like this just isn't the right shade of pink for me. I'm very neutral toned, and if anything, I even lean warm toned, so I think that this shade of lipstick would be really nice for someone with more of a cool toned complexion. I also think that this shade of pink would look really beautiful on someone with a bit more of a deeper skin tone than me and someone maybe with more of a pigmentation to their natural lip color to begin with. Since my lips are a pretty light shade of pink, I think that this just ends up looking too dark for me. I was hoping that this was more of a lighter neutral color pink, something that I could wear for every day, but I just don't think that this shade of lipstick suits me very well. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what this shade looks like because I do think it's one of those shades of pink that will look different on everyone. On some people, it will look neutral, and then on others, it will
will look more cool toned and more gray as it does on me. I don't have an exact dupe for baby in my collection because this isn't a shade that I really wear, but the closest shade that I have is from Revlon. It's the super lustrous lipstick in the shade Rose Velvet. So here is the swatch of Rose Velvet, here is Baby, and they both are, you know, that deeper, like, rosy shade of pink, but I think that Rose Velvet has just a little bit more warmth to it, and Merit just looks a lot more cool tone next to it. I'll also do a swatch on my lips, and I'll apply Rose Velvet on my bottom lip. Okay, here they are applied, Merit Baby on the top, Revlon Rose Velvet on the bottom. I think you can see the difference in tone. The Merit Baby looks slightly more cool toned, whereas the Rose Velvet looks a little bit more neutral, a little bit more of a hint of berry to it. And overall, they both have a similar satin finish. Overall, I love the Merit lipstick. I'm really enjoying the shade Slip. I think it is the perfect everyday nude for me. I love the formula of this. It's very thin and comfortable, really lightweight, and it doesn't emphasize any dryness or lip lines because it is so thin and hydrating. Really beautiful formula. Love the packaging. It looks and feels very luxurious. So I'm really happy that I try these out. I also ordered the shade Tiger, which looks like a really pretty sheer brick red shade, so I will review that one when it comes in. I hope that you found this review helpful. I would love to know if you have any of the Merit lipsticks, what's your favorite shade, and let us know if you have any other lipstick recommendations. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye!